Greetings. I need to update and set the record straight on my experiences with two Jeffrey Epstein victims, both negatives, negative experiences um, with Maria Farmer and George B. Tonks. Um, I, I apologize to you, the viewer, because I may have implied in a previous post that I was somehow special because I got to know uh, Maria Farmer. Um, I was covering up the pain, um, and um, so so let me let me set the record straight if you don't mind. But I I, I do want to give a good experience here to counteract it. Um, <coughs> Julie Brown of the Miami Herald uh, and her uh, <coughs> photographer Emily Michaud. Uh, I I did get to meet on one occasion but it was very memorable for me. And um, I found her to be um, uh, someone I continue to, to cherish, to look up to, to respect. And this is contrasting it with, so Maria Farmer um, reached out to me. Uh, we talked for about 10 hours on the phone. And one of the first things she did was to say that um, Julie Brown, uh, had screwed her out of publicity. I don't know what the right word is. Uh, it, uh, she she, she uh, convinced me that she was a better authority on Jeffrey Epstein than Julie Brown. Um, and that Julie Brown had tried to um, manipulate victims and this and that. Um, uh, I, I discredit her claims uh, in my experience with her. Um, she told me that Whitney Webb, uh, I, that is, I, I, I no longer have faith in what Maria Farmer says. Um, uh, then she told me that Whitney Webb, <coughs> who in conspiracy reality realms is famous for um, interviewing uh, Maria Farmer, uh, had tried to hurt her reputation uh, and was and and so she 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 made me more or less swear off of Whitney Webb who I respect for her coronavirus coverage um, and uh, then at the end of it all the 10 hours she suddenly turned on me with with real viciousness um, and um, trying to figure out how to say this without making myself look bad, right? But basically, um, even though I was trying to help her with um, some important information, uh, what do I say? I'm, I'm going to blab. She, she said that she uh, thought that she had had um, that it, that she that she may have been implanted with a brain tumor by the Epstein people, and I actually know someone who is an expert on whether or not this is possible. You know, the CIA can admit it in the church hearings in 1977 that they have a heart attack uh, drug. They can cause someone to have a heart attack, and 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 it can't be traced. Uh, <laughs> uh, so. It's not that these things are impossible, like, you know, maybe to implant cancer in someone. And so I, I was actually getting this person to look into this. Um, and um, uh, I, I could tell you more, but that, that suffices. So, um, you know, after about 10 hours, she suddenly is trashing me, uh, trying to, contradicting all the good things she had said about me telling me she doesn't want my help, that if I continue to uh, communicate to her, she will report me to the police. And uh, she insinuated that my interest in her uh, was um, sexual, when in fact, uh, it is about her contact with the Jeffrey Epstein experience, trying to get you know the best view, uh, the best understanding of it, and What's most important uh, for, for me, she's a, uh, she knows David Icke, who is 
someone who has really honestly has changed my religion. Uh, it's about David Icke. It wasn't about her, right? So for her to insinuate that somehow I've got improper sexual uh, motives or something, uh, when we're talking, she initiated the phone call from Arkansas to Miami for 10 hours. And that's all the experience I've ever had with her in my life, right? Uh, 2,000 miles away by phone, right? And she's trying to twist this into accusing me of, of having, a, I can't remember. Uh, <clears throat> um, anyways, um, so, so she ended all communication. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. And um, uh, she claimed that George B. Tonks was her lawyer. He's not a lawyer. But he, t he t talked me down from it, and um, he would seem to be a victim. Uh, and he, he had a crisis of his own. Uh, he, I, I think I helped him. Uh, Maria Farmer was actually trying to put him in jail. <laughs> and uh, I, I probably helped him. You know, he, 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 was, he kept himself out of jail, but... Uh, Whatever it is, he told me along the way that Maria Farmer had actually reported me to law enforcement for nothing that ever happened, right? And so, but I, I said, well, this is actually reflective on her and maybe even on David Icke, uh, my guru, my my some semi religious leader, right? And so I want to know, you know, is she someone who actually goes around? and makes false complaints to law enforcement because it goes back to her credibility with the whole Jeffrey Epstein saga, right? I mean, if, if she's, right, do you follow the connection here? Um, and uh, he said, yeah, yeah, and he promised me straight up, you, you, you know, when you ask somebody something important and they promise you two or three times, I mean, this is like, this is the test, right? I give you my word, I will get you the, I'll send you copies of the emails that Maria Farmer sent me, he said, uh, 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 saying that she had complained past tense to law enforcement about you, Jackson Rip Holmes. Uh, guess what? He never delivered. And he kept, it got to the point where he lied to me. Uh, we, so how do you feel when someone lies in your face? Um, uh, I, I reached a point where I said, wow, this guy has no regard uh, for my life. He, uh, and he's not, he, he's, he doesn't have these emails. <clears throat> and um, so I have never negative experience with him, right? Um, what would my parting thought be to anyone who has listened to this for eight minutes plus? It would be, um, if you have the uh, opportunity uh, to to get to know a Jeffrey Epstein victim, you know, I mean, two two bad apples don't make the whole bunch bad. Obviously, God forbid, but uh, be careful because uh, Maria Farmer, uh, she she's uh, she's a vicious person, and George B. Tonks uh, has no compunction about. Uh, lying to people in their face about very important matters.